power. Power is something even humankind strives for. But in fiction, power is everything. Whether you're talking about He-Man and the Power Sword, or even Thanos when he acquired the full Infinity Gauntlet. What does a series like Naruto have? They have something called Tailed Beast. But what are Tailed Beasts and where do they come from? So simply put it, Tailed Beasts are nine chakra animals that was created by the Sage of Six Paths, Hagaromo Otsutsuki. Differentiate by the animals they are and the tails that they have. So for example, the one-tailed Shukaku is a one-tailed Tanuki, all the way up to the nine-tailed Kurama, who is a nine-tailed fox. Just being different animals and having different numbers of tails isn't the only thing that differentiate them. It's also the power that comes with each Biju's tails. So for example, the three tails is more powerful than the one tails. The eight tails is more powerful than the six tails. This stands to reason that the strongest tailed beast is the nine tails because he has more tails than all the other ones. I mean, come on, he is a being that is stated to being able to turn planets to ash and even shatter them. But what if I tell you that there's more? Or to be more specific, a 10 tails, which is the fusion of all nine tailed beasts. All the tailed beasts came from the 10 tails as the 10 tails was a literal seed, of the Shinju tree that was shown in Shippuden. This power shows as he's able to flick away the eight tails strongest attack, then proceed to absolutely body Naruto and the nine tails. It was so strong that Kurama even had to concede to his strength. But what if I tell you that Kurama, the nine tails, could possibly be stronger than the ten tails? Or to be more specific, can a peak Kurama beat a Shippuden ten tails? So to get that, we're gonna have to see how strong Kurama gets after Shippuden. As it's already clear that Kurama can't beat the Ten Tails when he first arrives. Okay, it was already implied in Shippuden that the Nine Tails is stronger than Naruto. As Kakashi states that the Nine Tails has about 25 times more chakra than Naruto. It's even beat into us more after Kurama died and Naruto lost Kurama. Naruto gets a massive nerf and can't go on missions alone anymore. That basically means that throughout the whole time Naruto had Kurama, Kurama was always stronger than Naruto. So when Naruto gets stronger, that means Kurama also gets stronger. So how strong do they get? So after Obito was finally able to revive the Ten Tails, which he had to do with the Ten Tails being incomplete because he didn't fully have Kurama or the Eight Tails Gyuki, even with this, Kurama and Gyuki still got overpowered and beat by the Ten Tails. Obito then got tired of waiting for the actual plan and then turned himself into the Ten Tails Jinchiriki. It's a known Naruto fact that when a tailed beast is turned into a Jinchiriki, he becomes stronger because the Jinchiriki is able to focus that power. But because Obito wasn't fully synced with the Ten Tails and the Ten Tails wasn't complete, Obito's transformation wasn't at full power. This is when Obito was able to clear his conscience and put the pieces of his mind back together. To fully control his Yubi form, unlocking full Pito. This is when Naruto and the allied shinobi forces was able to defeat Obito, releasing all of the tailed beasts inside of him. And then Madara looked at all the tailed beasts and was like, yeah, I'm gonna need that. Then he simply proceeded to capture the tailed beasts one by one, created the ten tails, then proceeded to absorb it and turn himself into the Ten Tails Jinchiriki. But this time with all nine tailed beasts, creating Jubi Madara. Madara then took Kakashi's eye to get to his second Renegon eye, which he gets from Obito in the Kamui dimension. And because he has both eyes now, we're now introduced to full power Jubi Dara. As is stated by Obito that he's able to get a power boost by acquiring both eyes. Around this time, Madara also gets pressed by Naruto, forcing Madara to absorb the God Tree in its entirety, giving him another boost in power. And this is when Madara was defeated by Black Zetsu, introducing a whole new villain, the mother of all chakra, Kaguya Otsutsuki, who is stated stronger than Ten Tails and even Jubi Madara. And even with all this power during the fight, Naruto was shown multiple times, scaling to Kaguya's level. Kaguya then gets defeated, Naruto gets the other half of Kurama put inside of him, and then another enemy is introduced, Toniri Otsutsuki, 
was stated multiple times in the Canon promotional guides of being equal or even stronger than Kaguya Otsutsuki. This is when we get the concept of Naruto being able to separate himself from Kurama, affirming the fact that Naruto still needs Kurama for strength. And this is when base Toneri, who is literally stated stronger than Kaguya, gets one-shotted by Naruto. Toneri quite literally states it himself. After Toneri is defeated, that's when we're introduced to three new villains, Momoshiki, Uroshiki, and Kenshiki, who is stated by Sasuke to being stronger than Kaguya, to a point where Kaguya wanted to amass an entire white Zetsu army just to fight off these three. Base Momoshiki even states that he could defeat her himself. But if this isn't enough, Momoshiki decided to fuse with Kenshiki and to fuse Momoshiki, who is massively stronger than base Momoshiki or Kenshiki. And this is when Naruto, at half power, decides to throw hands with this fused Momoshiki in base form, gives Boruto chakra for Rasengan in his base, and absolutely obliterates fused Momoshiki, confirming that Naruto at full power is with fused Momoshiki. And this is when we get to a new villain in the series, Jigen who is so strong that he's able to body Naruto and Sasuke at the exact same time. Something even Fuse Momoshiki couldn't do. And then we find out that Jigen is powered by a stronger being named Ishiki, who absolutely bodies Sasuke and Naruto even more, to a point where Naruto and Kurama had to come up with a new transformation just to beat him. Baryon Mode Naruto which absolutely dominated Ishiki in their fight, making Baryon Mode the peak of Naruto's power. And after Ishiki dies, well, Kurama dies, ending the scaling of Kurama. But how strong is Kurama? And how strong is he compared to the Tentails? So let's give the Tentails the benefit of the doubt and say that he's in between Jubito and Jubi Madara level. Since Obito didn't absorb the full power Tentails, Kurama would still scale higher than the Tentails, as Jubito and Jubidara isn't even on Kaguya's level, let alone Toniri, Base Momoshiki, Fuse Momoshiki, Jigen, Ishiki, etc. So to simply put it, the Ninetales would do what he did against Toniri's Golem and just beat him into submission. You're 